Hi! Today I have yet another power supply. This is a really cool power supply and hopefully is the last one I ever get because, you know, I'm starting to uh, worry about um, getting too many power supplies um, here in the lab. I mean, how many power supplies do you, do you need in a lab? I mean, geez. Okay, so I, I can actually now cover all the ranges uh, and hopefully it's gonna be enough. Still don't have a high um, current power supply, but geez, I can actually make one with a, you know, a Toroidal transformer and, uh, you know, put a wire, put a bridge rectifier and, and hey, there, there you have a high current power supply. Uh, but anyway, that's another thing. And this one, uh, I actually, I couldn't resist buying this thing. It was uh, a um, an auction on eBay. It was uh, under 100 euros. Uh, delivered it's, it's pretty good uh, condition and there is uh, there are a few marks and scratches but you know it's pretty good 10 turns part on the voltage knob and a uh, single turn on the uh, current and this is a um, EMI um, TCR power supply it's a, an electronic measurement incorporated uh, it, which is actually a division from um, of uh, lambda instruments and lambda makes Gorgeous power supply actually. So this is a 150 volts. Yes, yeah, pretty high voltage um, And um, can actually generate up to 150 volts up to 7 amps continuous Which is quite an amazing thing uh, You know, it's a 1.05 kilowatts power supply in a two freaking rack mount unit oh, I mean just, just amazing stuff already have and already did actually a uh, little video about it uh, a Philips power supply um, it was a 75 volts 14 amps still is a uh, one kilowatt uh, power supply but I mean that is three rack unit and this is two so uh, what would actually be quite interesting to see um, how they actually manage to to get uh, everything into two rack units and uh, you know by the way I, I this is the um, 35 kilogram unit. I mean, it's freaking heavy. Um, unit uh, actually traveled uh, quite a long distance and uh, actually uh, came here in a crate. Uh, it was not a normal box, you know, a cardboard box. It was a, actually a proper wooden crate. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Uh, anyways, um, let's zoom, you know, it's gonna actually be a quick, uh, very quick video, just, you know, rambling around inside and see how it actually is done, but, you know, I don't expect anything really else, apart of huge transformers and uh, huge capacitors, I mean, geez. And by the way, yes, this thing is in fully working order, and, you know, it's not, it's gonna, not gonna be a any repair or whatever it's just you know I'm gonna quickly um, open it up and see what's inside so let's go I just wanted to uh, show you the the actual size of it which is actually quite important uh, it's a full rack um, you know depth and uh, it's a two units right there with uh, some nice handles and on the back we do have some uh, strips here for the sensing and uh, the remote and stuff and we have a the main actual power cord fan on the back and this is the main output which is not on the front is only on the back because you you actually do have uh, 150 volts it's actually quite quite dangerous and by the way I'm actually making my system rack and the the Philips power supply is already in and this is actually going next. Um, so I oh, actually have two kilowatts worth of uh, power supply right there. And by the way, I actually got the, the manual for it. And this is the one phase uh, power supply version uh, because you can actually get uh, different models, um, also three phases. If you look around, they actually do pretty large power supply for industrial application like uh, hundreds of amps and uh, hundreds of volts I mean that, that's that's quite crazy and uh, 
I really wanted the uh, 600 volts, uh, I think it was 1.5 amps version, but uh, you know, I couldn't get it. It was absolutely too expensive. Um, actually, the shipping was too expensive, so I just got this one. And um, as I said inside, I don't expect much. Uh, just uh, huge transformers and um, some uh, regulators and uh, huge capacitors. And um, I think this is actually an SCR uh, power supply. So it's SCR driven. Uh, you have the uh, actual device um, somewhere here on the back. I expect, you know, by judging by the location of the fan, it's uh, right on the back. Okay, so it comes right off. There is a cardboard kind of uh, protection on the top to not short anything. And we are in, wow, those capacitors are quite huge. Let me show you. All right, so look at that. I mean, those transformers are just quite, quite, I mean, just quite something. Uh, they actually fit uh, two transformers, you know, uh, one transformer and one inductor uh, inside a true rack unit. It's, uh, wow. And this is uh, a, you know, style of transformer which is actually quite funky but uh, actually works quite well okay, so this is the main transformer this is the actual inductor those are the main capacitors and those capacitors let me tell you those are quite scary those are uh, 7000 microfarad 200 volt dc 7000 i mean and those are wired in uh, oh, in parallel so <laughs> 14,000 microfarad 100 volts, yes. It's, it's quite a scary amount of energy stored in those two capacitors. I mean, geez, if you touch the terminals and that is charged, I mean, whoa, you fly fly to the moon, man. So um, I think this is the main uh, control unit and um, look at this um, nice attention to details with the uh, uh, actual... Um, Thermal switch right there. Those are, I think, those are put quite big ass um, rectifiers right there. So, and those are the main, um, the main um, devices. Those are SCRs by the looks of it. So uh, the mains come in and um, they actually do uh, phase control regulation by the looks of it. Um, then uh, the, the goes to the power transformer gets rectified and goes to the output. That's how they actually managed to uh, do this sort of uh, high power uh, stuff. The, the mains are regulated by phase control. It's actually quite an interesting uh, thing. Uh, I highly suggest you uh, go take a look at the... Uh, I do actually have... Let me, let me show... Uh, let me see... Oh, there we go. This from um, uh, Little Fuse uh, phase control using thyristors, and that's very interesting. And um, I highly suggest you go and take a look at it. all the schematics and and everything. It's it's very very neat uh, kind of guide uh, from uh, Little Fuse. Go go and take a look. I, I will actually uh, link it down below in the description. It's very very interesting. Oh look at the shunt. This is the actual shunt for the uh, you know for the current sensing right there. Interestingly, we have a uh, loose connector, uh, but I think it's just the over voltage uh, adjustment, uh, which is an option, uh, which is optional and is not fitted. On this unit, well, that's unfortunate. So here's the uh, actual circuitry, and that's the only circuit um, circuitry that is in this power supply. You don't really need that much to to actually make a power supply like this. Um, you know, there is another transformer for the uh, actual board, and two other uh, little transformers. I don't know if they are actually inductors, but I think um, you know by the Judging by the uh, wirings uh, around, it's, mm, those are probably transformers. Uh, but anyways, um, we have some regulation happening here and uh, uh, I won't actually go into uh, details, but uh, probably have uh, a uh, 
operation amplifier, probably a dual operation amplifier. By the day code, it's uh, 86, I think. I don't know. Um, probably because this uh, actually unit is uh, quite old right there, and uh, those are pr probably the um, operation amplifier for the voltage and current channel amplifiers. And um, and uh, I don't see the uh, references. Uh, you actually do need a uh, voltage and current uh, references. Um, I I I don't know. I probably those right there. Those. Uh, the uh, references I don't know uh, anyways um, and um, well this uh, resistor should be actually quite important we actually mounted this resistor right on two stands and um, that's quite uh, quite interesting all right so let's bar it up and uh, yeah yeah that's pretty pretty good so we are in current mode right now Let's uh, go up in voltage, and uh, we do have the 150 volts. The transformer is actually quite noisy; uh, is um, is buzzing a little bit. But uh, you know, we have uh, 150 volts on the terminals. It's it's quite a, quite a thing, and I want to actually see how many uh, volts we get at the uh, at the terminals of the transformer. Okay, so we are at, uh, let's put uh, 100 volts, let's see, uh, there we go, 100 should be, yeah, 88, uh, rectified, and filter and everything, it's gonna actually be 100, it's pretty good, 150, let's go to 150, let's see, and uh, we should get, uh, you know, 130, 40, I don't know. 130, 127. It's pretty close. I mean, geez. Uh, okay, so, and on the on the back on the terminals, we do have 160, and is falling down. 100. Uh, uh, stop. Jeez. Okay. Man, it's uh, probably because uh, you know the the discharging of those two capacitors is actually quite slow. Let me show you. Um, if I do something like that, look at the voltage going down. It's really quite slow. I mean, those are the capacitors discharging, and I mean, 150 volts um, inside those capacitors. They're actually store 14,000. Microfarads, um, it's, it's gonna actually be quite dangerous. Now we do not have anything, I don't expect I mean, anything on the transformer. And yes, it's uh, 13 millivolts, and we I don't expect having anything on the capacitors as well. It's uh, one volt of, uh, of drift, which is actually quite fair. Let's see how fast they actually go up to the full voltage. Wow! Look at that. If you have the chance of getting one of those, just get it. This is a very, very nice power supply, very easy to service if uh, there is any fault or whatever. You know, the, the SCRs are actually quite common devices, so you can actually replace those. Uh, and, um, you know, it's fairly. Uh, straightforward kind of circuitry and uh, there is unfortunately there is no schematic inside this uh, manual so yeah i mean that's basically it so hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye fucking hell that's pretty heavy <laughs> i don't want to ruin this thing Jeez. oh man no way no way Ugh, okay no, it's not, it's not going in. There we go. Oh my god, the sound. Oh, amazing. Well, it's like a jet engine. I always dream that.